Good morning everybody, my name is Sam, I'm one of the trainers here at the University of Bath. As always, it is my pleasure to take you through a session in your own front room. And lucky for you guys, today's session is burn. So I know it's nice and early in the morning, which is great, so what better way to start your day is to do some high energy exercise to give you the energy you need to get through the rest of that day. And the good news is you can always come back and repeat parts of it later on today, tomorrow, whenever you want, because it'll be right here on this YouTube channel. So, first of all, what is burn? So burn is gonna be a high intense workout. We're gonna have recovery times in between. So we're gonna do a gentle warm up first of all, then when we get going, it'll be blocks of three exercises per block, three times through. You'll get adequate rest in between each block and bits of rest in between. So during the session, just give it your all to your own level. Everyone pushes themselves slightly different, as long as you can walk out of here knowing that you pushed yourself and you had fun, the results will come. So remember the key points and you'll be absolutely buzzing during this session. So the key things to remember what you need for today is a water bottle, a towel. You'll probably see me dipping down to my phone now and again because I've got my timer on there. It looks slightly different today. Rather than reps, we're going to do it in blocks of time. Then the key things need a little bit of floor space. Once you have that, you'll be onto a winner and we can have great fun during this session. That is the plan. Remember, it is not an air conditioned studio, so you are going to get more sweaty than usual, which is also a good thing. So as long as you remember, have fun, work hard and have fun, you will get the results that you want to get. So with that being said, let's get started. So same as usual, nice easy march on the spot. So all we're doing is getting your body ready. So we know when you go out this morning, you're like, yes, I'm ready to do a session with Sam. But is your body on the same page as your mind? That's what the warm up's for, to get your body ready so we can test it, okay? So as we're marching, roll those shoulders back, one, two, and then rolling forwards, one, two. Just keep that rhythm going for me. For those who have just tuned in, we're doing a nice, easy warm up, getting ourselves prepared for what's coming up during the session. Roll those shoulders forward and back. So two back, two forwards, two back, two forwards. Perfect stuff. Okay, we're gonna do a few squats now. So quite a few of these during the session as well. So hands to the front, squat down, up to Squat down, up to Key thing is to breathe out on the way up and squat down. So remember, the warm up is taking you from the state where you've literally just woken up in this case, to get your body ready to be tested. In three, two, and one. Perfect. Whilst we're facing this way, let's do a few lunges as well. So give you a step forwards, back. Step forwards, back. Step forwards, and back. So the warm up is always nice and easy. As you notice, the movements are getting bigger, because that means your body's getting ready for it. We're elevating that heart rate a little bit more, and your muscles are saying, yes, we can do this. So again, I'm just using my arms now, just to get my heart going a bit more. You'll see me use my arms throughout the session today. We're gonna do a few side steps as well now. So remember, my right is your left, but just go to the right. So it's across, center, cross, across. So again, all we're doing is warming you up in different movements. Don't worry, it's not the workout, you just tuned in. It is gonna get tougher, but key thing is making sure you're ready. In three, two, and one, perfect. Back to marching on spot. Open those arms up for me, nice and big. Great stuff. As big as you can, and back. Big as you can, perfect. Put your feet roughly hip width, we're almost done now. We're almost gonna start the workout itself. Put your hands up, so roughly chest height. Twist it round, twist it round. Let your head follow, only go as far as you feel comfortable. You'll hear me say that throughout the session today. It's all about the comfort level. In three, two, and one, perfect. March on the spot to shake those arms out. So join the session today, you're nice and warm now. Remember, it's gonna be nice and intense for about four and a half minutes of a block, then you get recovery time before we do the next one. I always give you a way to make things a little bit easier, so if it's too much, step it back, or you can increase it likewise as well. So here's how the first block it's gonna work. So the first block is gonna be squat down, twist, down, twist. 30 seconds, fast as you can, 30 seconds. You get a couple of seconds 
to get yourself ready for the next exercise. So the first one is twist and twist for 30 seconds. Then it's going to be high knees for 30 seconds. Once you've done those high knees for 30 seconds, what we're looking for next is going to be feet together, wide, up, wide, up. So let's recap one more time. Down, twist, down. Remember, nice speedy movement, 30 seconds. High knees, 30 seconds. Feet together, wide, push to the top. Everyone got that? So 30 seconds for each one. So you get my timer again. And we're going to start in four, three, two, one. Just down, twist. Let's use your arms as well. Twist across, down, twist across. So the key thing to remember, if you've done my class before, you know the warm up is easy to do. You know it gets tougher the first block and it gets harder as you go through. Those who are new to it, each block will have something different about it, exercises, and they'll make it a little bit tougher. Each block is what we also have an exercise is slightly less intense, still works you hard, but not to the same extensity. Perfect, catch your breath. So hopefully your heart's pumping a little bit heavier now, which is just what we're after. Three, two, one, high knees. So get on this one, shoulders back, chest out, knees up, look how much I'm using my arms. Let's get you doing it as well. So we want to hear you breathing heavy. See that sweat coming through, that's the key part. If it's too much doing this, just do a high knee, high knee. If not, keep driving through. 10 more seconds, folks. 10 more, we can do this, keep with me now. Here we are, in six, five, four, three, two, one. Whew. Remember the next one, it's gonna be here, to here, up, down. So every time you land in a wide squat, elbows wide. Ready, down, wide, there, there. So elbows are trying to touch your knees. Only go as far as you feel comfortable. Again, if it's too much, just do it at a slower pace. So you can just do it in and out. But I've got confidence, we can all do this. Drive down up, and up, and up. Good stuff. Last couple. Two, one. <laughs> Round one, block one is done. Good news is, we gotta repeat that again. So we're ready. Three, two, one, down, twist, down, twist. Now those three exercises, you've probably worked out. This one here is the easier of the three. A little bit less intense, because not so much of a bounce involved. You know, we're just not jumping off the floor very much. Yes, yeah, really pump those arms out. Okay, it's amazing. Just adding an extra move with your arms can do to hide the intensity that that workout is on your body. Two, one. Good, how you all feeling? Feeling warmed up, feeling good? I am. Five, four, three, two, one. High knees. So remember the key, keep the breathing relaxed. I know it's easy to say, but just try to stabilize that breathing the best you can during these exercises. Pump those arms. As you can tell by the way I'm speaking, it's a tough workout, even when I'm breathing heavy. That's what it's all about. Test your limits. Come on, 10, nine, eight, really work it for me. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Whew. How are you feeling, everybody? Feet together, low, you ready? Three, two, one, there, up, there, up. Again, elbows down. Nice and low. It is all about comfort there. But test yourself. If you think you can go lower than you did in that first round, go lower. If you didn't have the jump element in the first round, have the jump in this one. There's always ways you can adjust the intensity by a few slight modifications. Good. Now we've got almost there. Four, three, two, one. Two out of three isn't bad. The good news is, one more round to go, then you get a water break. Two, one, down, twist, down, twist. Get really pump those arms out. You've all got your own individual why. Why you came here this morning. Why you chose to have this workout with me. Remember that why. Whenever it gets tough, 
Remember, you feel yourself breathing heavy, sweat pouring. Just think, you came here for a reason. To achieve that reason, you need to complete as much of this as you can. One, excellent. Catch that breath. How you all feeling? You feeling good? Hope for your chest pain there. Be short of breath. That's what we want. Two, one. Here we go, high knees. Shoulders back, chest out. Keep smiling if you can. Reach that way. Feels enjoying it. It's amazing. Just putting on a smile makes you feel good. Really swing those arms. We've got this. Come on. We've got 15 seconds. Stay with me now. Don't drop off. In 10, 9, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. One more exercise to go before we get a water break. Down low. Keep going, boy. You're doing great. Four, three, two, one. Wide, up. Wide, up. Wide, up. Wide, up. Good. Keep it going. Low down. Trying to get his elbows as close to his knees as he can. Legs as wide as you can get. So a little wide and hip whip. Just makes it a bit more of a deeper squat for you in that position. Nine, eight, come on. Seven. You can taste that water already. Three, two, one. Great stuff, everybody. You nailed that first block. Taking some water. How you all feeling? So, I'm a man of my word. At the very beginning, I said we build up gently. I said each block will get harder and harder. The warm up was gentle. Block one was reasonable. This one is going to be a little bit tougher again. So here is what we're going to do in this block. Up first, speed skaters. So we go from here, cross, cross, cross. 30 seconds. Try and touch your toe if you can. If not, touch your knee. Once you've done those, we're then going to go back down, pulse squats for 30 seconds. Then once in the pulse squats for 30 seconds, we're going to do some star jumps. Okay? Star jumps for 30 seconds. So let's recap that. So from here, cross, cross, 30 seconds. Down to the bottom, pulse squats, 30 seconds. That's going to burn. Then, star jumps with a clap at the top. Are we ready? So I gave you plenty of time to recover when I'm explaining the exercises. Three, two, one. Let's go. Cross, twist, twist. Remember, if you can touch your toe, fantastic. If not, just touch your knee for me. It's a big twist across each time. Remember, if you're just tuning in, this is how it works. It will get tougher as we go. This may be tough enough. You decide. Keep going for me. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Great stuff, guys. Breathe on the mat. Catch your breath. Down nice and low. Hold it there. Are you ready? Pulse squats. Let's pulse them out. Tiny movements. It starts off easy. Remember, it's not like going low as you can. It's going to a range where you feel it working. Then the small little movement in that position. Those legs will begin to scream at you. That is what we're looking for at this moment. Come on. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stand up. Shake those legs up. Whew, that feels good. Ready for those thigh jumps? Feet together. We clap at the top. 3, 2, 1. Good, two, good. Old school exercise, but always gets the job done. In other words, makes you get out of breath. Keep going. If you want, you can have a double clap, bottom of the top. Keep going. You've got 10 seconds, folks. 10 seconds. You'll get, you feel yourself getting heavier breathing there. You're gonna figure out the pulse squats, the ones that's less Hard on that breathing. Catch your breath. How are you feeling? If you like me, whew, you got a sweat pouring. Just swipe it away. We're ready. So remember, speed skaters again. Three, two, one. Cross, cross. Looks really good. 
You've got a white background on me. Looks like you're speeding along. First snow somewhere. Swing those arms. Come on. Big swinging arms each time. Really twist it low. Get it across for me. Come on. Remember, you want to get out of breath. That's good. You're testing your limits. That's what you want to do to get those results. In four, three, two, one. Just step. Catch your breath. Pulse squat time. Psych yourself up. Drop into it. Three, two, one. Here we go. Tiny pulse squats. Tiny little movements. If you can get a little bit lower than we did last time, even better. But your muscles will feel tired. In some ways, you want to be higher because your muscles can't stay that low. That's a good sign. You're truly testing into limits. Keep it going. You're smashing this today. 10 seconds. Come on, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good stuff. How's that feeling? We've got star jumps to come. Shake your shoulders up. Three, two, one, go. Perfect. Like I said, most of my sessions like this has some really old school exercise. Star jumps usually appear at least once in one of these sort of sessions. That is what we're trying to do. Keep it going, come on. Remember, there, back, there, back, there, back, there. Come on. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Catch your breath, everybody. You're doing super. How you all feeling? We've got one more time through of those three exercises. You ready for your speed skaters? I am, I'm buzzing, I'm hoping you are. Two, one, cross, cross, cross. Remember, dropping low each time. So every time, try and touch your toe if you can. If that's too much, just touch your knee. It's still a workout. The more you spring across, the bigger the movement, therefore the harder your heart works, therefore the more sweat you get from it. Simple equation, really. Keep going, almost there. Come on, we've got this. Two, one. Good stuff. How are you feeling? Pulse squats. One more time. Three, two, one. Show me what you got. Come on, hang in there with me. I know it's going to feel challenging. You're going to be thinking, wow, can I keep going? Yes, you can. Keep it low. Feel that burn across these legs. Remember what I said at the beginning? Short, sharp, intense workouts, recovery in between. You've got this. One more exercise. Then you get time to recover before I go for that next block with you. You're doing great so far. Here we are. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo. Shake those legs off. This is why I wear a sweat band as well. Easy to do that. Three, two, one. Good. Come on. Last one of these. And then you get a water break and a bit of recovery whilst I demo the next exercises. There it is, come on. Keep looking straight ahead. Big grin on your face, come on. We are almost there. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Great stuff, everybody. You nailed that today. Well, if we sweat again, grab yourself a drink. Ooh, hopefully, you're thinking, whoa, I'm feeling good. Those calories be taken away at this point because short, sharp pushes, plenty of time to recover. If you feel like you could have less recovery time because it doesn't feel hard enough, push yourself harder, go quicker during those exercises themselves. Up next, so it's going to get tougher. Here is where it gets tougher. Let me just uh, tip that bang just slightly. That's better. So, what we're doing. When you get down on the floor, here's how it works. 30 seconds of push-ups. Either on your knees or legs out straight. The bigger point of contact or gaps between the points of contact, the harder the exercise. So if I'm here, it's a lot easier than if I'm here. Mix it up, do five and five, that's what I'm going to be doing. Then 20 or 30 seconds of twisted mountain climbers. We're just going to be here, cross, 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 cross. If that's too much, just do legs straight. Once you've done those, the best one. From here, 
we're going to go in, stand. If you can, add a jump. So we're going to go out, in, jump, okay? That's what we're looking for. Can you do those? 30 seconds of press ups, 30 seconds of twisted mountain climbers, 30 seconds of what I call pop squat or jump, some people go to the burpee, it's whatever you think of that movement, okay? Are we ready? Three, this is going to be tough. Two, one, that into position. Here we go, folks. Let's do this. 30 seconds, come on. Again, I'm going to show you a range of these. I'll do some on my knees, some on my knees. All we're looking for is making sure that nose is always ahead of those fingertips. Keep going for me. A couple more to go. Perfect. Shake those arms off. Here we are now. Are you ready for those twisted mining climbers? Let's go. So twist under, twist under, twist under, twist under. So every time, really twist through that trunk. Try and keep your hips, same level, don't go up too high, twist round. Again, surprising how heavy that breathing does become. Keep twisting through. Excellent stuff. It looks simple enough then, on it? Now you realize it's not. Five, four, three, two, one. Whew. How are you feeling now? So it looks simple, then you realize that actually it's not that simple. Okay, ready? Position, bring your hands a bit closer in. Three, two, one. In, up, down, out. You can jump if you want, you can mix it up if you want. So when I've done these the last couple of sessions, it's been 10 reps. Whereas now, we're going for 30 seconds, folks. 30 seconds. Can we last, is the question. So I'll mix up a little bit. Some jumps, some standing. Just so you see the differences between the two. Woo. Catch your breath. That block there. Probably the hardest of all of them so far. Okay, as falls into pattern, we say each one gets progressively harder. Two, one, press up. Let's go. Really push it out. Come on. Remember, you can mix it up. It's also hard because your arms are supporting you with those twisted mountain climbers and those squat thrusts with a jump as well, which is why. Is tough and you'll be thinking wow my arms good Whew. shake these arms up told you it'd be a whole other workout get you breathing heavy Are you ready for those twist ins here we go hands on the floor two one across cross cross what better way to start your morning hey this will hopefully energize you give you all the motivation you need to get through the rest of the day. For those who are joining the one o'clock today, obviously it'll get you through the afternoon as well. Come on. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Whew. Those arms should be screaming at you now. Ready for those jumps? Three, two, one. There we go. Up, out. So every time we spring it up if you can, or you can stand up. Either way, as long as you're testing your limits and remembering why you came here this morning, or if it's the one o'clock one, why you came here today. Come on, drive it up. Whew. Good. Two out of three rounds done, which means whew, press ups are coming again. Two, one, here we go. Drop it up and down. Come on. Nose just in front of these fingertips. Remember, mix it up, sit back, recover, go again. You're not superhuman. If it's too easy, push harder next time. Go quicker. Come on. Dropping down. Good. Shake those arms up. Whew. Are you ready? 
twisted my ankle arms. One more time. Put this blocking away. Coming up. Three, two, one. Twist under. Twist under. Twist under. Come on. Then once we've done these, one more of the jump squats. And then you get your water break. Aren't you guys lucky? Twist it around. Come on. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Whew. One more. Whew. 30 seconds. And then we'll get a drinks break, okay? In position. Shake your shoulders up. Whew. Three, two, one. Here we go. If you stand, or you can jump. Up to you, folks. Stand, or jump. Come on. So, little spring. If you make it more enthusiastic, give a clap. Still too easy, which it should be. Tuck jump. There. Tuck jump. Come on. Woo. You smashed it, guys. Wipe away your sweat. Grab yourself a drink. There. How's everyone feeling now? Hopefully, you're at the stage where you're thinking, wow, I can feel that. That's exactly what we're looking for. Okay, we've got one more block to go. Let me just uh, tip this back. As you can see, a bit better. Here's what the final block is. We're gonna do what I call jump and surf squats. This is the first time last week, so it's down. Twist, twist. 30 seconds. Once done 30 seconds of those, 30 seconds of high knees, followed by 30 seconds of speed scares. Hardest one we've saved to our last. So from here to here, keep going, 30 seconds. Once you've done those, high knees, 30 seconds, then speed skaters, 30 seconds. Everyone ready? We're gonna smash this one last time. Are you ready for this? You learn. We're gonna go twice through this time. Go, go. So every time, land. Quick footwork, that's what we're looking for. So your quick footwork, land with soft knees. It's the hardest block. There's no respite between these. Remember, there's no easier one out to three. They're all tough. You might think this one's harder than a lot because of the twisting part. But hey, wait until you've done the other two as well. Five, four, three, two, one. Whew. Ready for those high knees? Here we go, folks. In five, four, three, two. High knees. Come on. Remember, it's not three rounds of this block. It's just two. So really give it your all. If you've been holding out, you've been pacing yourself, looking for a time to impress me, now is your time. Your body's gonna feel tired. These legs won't want to come as high. Guess what? Push through it. Keep with me. You're smashing it. Just keep it up. In five, four, three, two, one. Woo. How are you doing now? Ready for those speed skaters? Now you know we're gonna do it twice for it. Three, two, one, cross. Remember, it's always easier ones that went through for all these exercises. So for this, just tap your knees. For high knees, just do standing knee raises rather than sprints on the spot. For jump surfs, just do squats normal with no jump and twist. Come on, big left, swing his arms. It's really good at hard working. You're really going. Come on, imagine you're speeding along over that ice. In four, three, two, one. Whew. One round done. We've got one more round. Then we're on the cool down, folks. Are we ready? Get low. Surf the waves. There, to there, to there, to there. Come on. These sessions I'm doing with you, normally burn about 550 to 600 calories in just 30 minutes. And if you take away my intro for three minutes, 27 minutes, take away the warm up, 
In the cool day, you're looking for 21 minutes of intense exercise. Three, two, one. Good stuff. It's all done for a reason though. Those red compressed plates, the talk at the beginning, it means your body's able to push as hard as it can. Ready? Here we go. Come on. Last one of these today. We can do it. Put those knees up. Everyone give a big smile. Breathe heavy. So words, big whoo out. You're in control. Get those knees up. It feels like you're going as fast as you can. But if you're like me looking at the camera, you're thinking, surely I'm going quicker than that. Five, four, three, two, one. We've got speed skaters. We're going to finish with speed skaters. One of my favorite ones to do, we're going to finish on a high. Ready? Go. Come on. Last 30 seconds of work of the day. Really acing this workout. Come on. Think how good you're going to feel. Maybe not straight at the end, but later on today, when you look back and think, what have I done today? Oh, yes. That's what I did. I did burn. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Great stuff, everybody. You nailed it. Wipe away sweat. Woo. I always find this point. Put a towel on your shoulders. Grab your bottle. Don't try drinking just yet because you're breathing heavy. You probably back up a bit. March on the spot. Great stuff. Roll those shoulders backwards. Excellent. And then forwards. So what we're doing now, in the beginning, so two back, two forwards. We did this at the beginning to get you from that, oh, just got out of bed state, to yeah, I'm ready to do that workout. We got your body prepared. We progressed each block, so we went harder all the way through. We gave you ways to make each individual block harder. So hopefully you tested that. Or you may have dropped back a little bit, because you may have too hard. Each session you do, arms out, open wide. Always remember, what did I do last time? If you didn't manage to do the um, narrow to wide squats, for example, you did normal squats, next time, just try one round of narrow to wide squats. Always give yourself a reason, and that way you can achieve that why, that goal why you're here today. You'll achieve it if you test yourself. Take on some fluid. Excellent. So. Step forward, sit back, back knees bent, front leg straight, toes up towards you. This is that session today. We purposely designed to test you for every skill level, so to make it easier, middle range, what the toughest you can do, with simple ways to progress it. By adding a time relevant to it, it shocks your body. The last few burn sessions, all of what I've done so far, has all been rep counting. So doing that is a different way to make your mind think. You always hear me say the phrase, shock the body. The more you shock the body, the greater results you will get. Take a step back, bend the knee into it, hands to small your back, elbows together if you can, bring them back, push your hips forward, hold it there. So the key things to take away from this. One, you survived the workout, you did a great work on it. Two, it was short bursts with recovery in between. You test, if you went in the sort of heart rhythm monitor, how many calories you burned, how high your heart was at those levels. Because one of the definitions of fitness is drop down, right and cross, is how quickly you can recover in between a bite and intensity. That's why I like to do it that way. Over leg back, this time put your back foot heel on the floor, left arm across and lean slightly in. So you're driving that heel down, leaning forward to stretch that calf out at the bottom phase. Good stuff. Over leg, this time push your hands forwards, hold in that position, and throw my towel on the floor. Standing up, so I can have my feet roughly hip width, sideways on, right arm, left leg, then switch, holding it, switch, and then switch, and then switch, and switch. Great stuff. Feet together, knees together, hands up high. Squat low, look at smart camera. Stretch it up. Squat low. Again, smart camera. Stretch it up. Squat low. 
hold it, drive it up, give yourself a big clap everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed that, same as usual, I love teaching it, got absolutely buzzed out doing that session today. Hopefully you felt my energy coming through and it made you work a little bit harder. So remember burn, high intensity, maximal calorie burn, test your whole body but it gives you plenty of time to recover in an adequate way, okay? So you recover, push hard, recover. That's what it's all about. And you get the results, you have fun, work hard, have fun. That is what it's all about. You've got body conditioning tomorrow afternoon at one o'clock with me. Come along and try that. If you're gonna come along, if you've got weights, bring them along. All you need is a chair or a step, and then some tins. I've been using tins of baked beans, any of that sort of stuff, and that shocks your body again to add movement into it with an object as well. So the two combined will give you the best possible results. So keep coming back, guys. Any comments, obviously put them in the comment box below. You can always contact us on Team Bath Fitness Instagram or Team Bath Instagram as well. But the main thing out of all of it is you enjoyed the session, you got up early this morning, you made it out of bed, you pushed yourself, and you'll feel the benefits later on today, and you'll reap the rewards if you keep coming over the weeks look ahead. So this session, again, you can catch up on throughout the day. It can be replayed again at one o'clock today, but you can always watch it at your own time as well. So have a great day, everybody. So I'm Sam. When I trained at the University of Bath, had an absolute blast today. Hope you did too, and you all smashed it. Take care.